Which corner do you want? Which corner should be yours? All of them. Hello everybody and welcome back to part two of me building a greenhouse. Well, I don't have to build it anymore. Today we got to fill it. Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel or our YouTube channel really. Brett is the main star of the show as always. In my last video I built the greenhouse but it's still empty so I of course want to fill it with some plants. Now it's still winter over here, the temperatures are quite low, it can go down to like 6, 7, 8 degrees Celsius during night. During the daytime it can easily still go up above 20 but ultimately it's not perfect conditions for some of my indoor plants to make the transition uh, into the outdoors. I don't have electricity out here so I'm working on uh, maybe having some solar powered elements uh, to the greenhouse but for now I definitely can't heat the greenhouse. I'm not planning on putting any of my indoor plants uh, out here until spring when it's nice and warm but when I moved here, a lot of the plants didn't fit in the indoors and I had to take them outside. So these plants are already outside as it is. They have gotten used to the outdoor conditions over the last three months. So I figured it might be a good idea to take some of these outdoor plants and put them inside the greenhouse because they're already used to the lower conditions, but at least within the greenhouse, they'll get a little bit of, uh, they'll get higher humidity and they'll get less airflow, meaning they'll dry out less often, meaning I need to water less often. And really when it's cold, I'm specifically really worried about water because cold and wet is a deadly combination. Cold in itself usually is fine. So yeah, that's the purpose of today's video, taking all of my plants that are spread throughout the courtyard and putting them into the greenhouse. Now, I also haven't sorted my shelves yet. All of that's gonna happen in spring, so I'm gonna mainly put my vertical plants in here so I can hang them. Right now, you're actually getting the view that I get when I sit on my desk and edit this video. So I'm really in love with this view. I think it looks so good, but it's gonna look even better once there's plants in here. Plus the afternoon sun is just about to come, so it's gonna get nice and warm in here. It's a perfect time. Let's get started. So, the plants I was referring to are these plants over here that are currently just hanging on the fence. I have some plants in the corner over here. Uh, look at my polar walls, beautiful. Uh, this is an Epipremnum panatum. It's gonna be too big to fit in the greenhouse but this Atapa Poenzi and the Majestic over there, they will come in. And down here, I also bought some cat grass, some catnip and some herbs and some potting soil because I wanna start growing some veggies. But growing the veggies, setting all of that up is probably going to be a separate video. Today, I really just wanna take my existing plants and move them in here, arrange them and uh, see what it looks like. I have about 40 of these hooks over here and I used them when I moved, I used them to hook all of my poles into the van. So I'll use these and hook the plants into the side of the greenhouse. So let's go. Alrighty, this should be okay. You should be able to see everything. So we're just gonna move them all in one by one. First one, we've got Philodendron Campy or I think Lynette definitely suffered a little bit out there. Let's hope she'll be happier in here. There you go, first plant. Over here we've got philodendron uh, lupinum. It's just not really increasing in leaf size, so it had to go outside. Not worth wasting my precious indoor space on it. It's my uh, philodendron paraiso verde. It has suffered. I dropped it and two of the leaves snapped, but it is growing a new leaf. So it's not totally unhappy out here, but yeah, I'm not expecting it to thrive given the conditions it's exposed to out here. I mean, it's not ideal. This is Apropenum Global Green. Obviously the conditions out here are not ideal for these plants. It's too cold for them, but I'm just hoping that over this season they'll get used to it and then next season they'll be fine. Philodendron Atabapoensi. Ultimately, I don't really have a choice. It's not like I want these plants to be out here and suffer. It's just that um, 
that's the only space I still have available for them. <sighs> Philodendron Magic Dragon. I think this is a good example. When I first moved it out, its existing leaves started turning a little yellow, but the leaves that it has grown since then, they're used to the environment, so they're okay out here. Vergated Syngonium. A very sad splendid that was given to me by a friend uh, on the rescue mission but uh, given I have limited space I'm not too sure if I'm in the best position to actually rescue this or if I'm making it worse but we will find out. All right those were all of the plants from the wall or the the fence uh, let's move on to some bigger ones. Alrighty, this is my philodendron biliatii bilitai it is very happy, even though it's growing outdoors, so he really doesn't seem to mind the outdoors. But the pole dries out quite quickly, so I'm hoping that within the greenhouse, due to the higher humidity, it will dry out less quickly. Right, my big Ataba Poenzi has definitely suffered a little bit being outside as well, but she's too big. She does not fit inside anymore. But uh, let's hope that she likes the greenhouse. My Majestic is actually pushing out a new leaf over here. These leaves are all really, really old. I propagated that from these leaves a long time ago. So the leaves are looking very, very shabby. But I'm just waiting for the new growth and then I'm going to cut the old leaves off. This is another version of the one that I showed you earlier, the No ID. But this one is actually done much better after the chop. Got some kind of reverted variegated Monstera props, some uh, Vertimarks variegata, some more variegated props and some small alocasias, some more no ID propagations that are doing so so out here. Oh, that was it. Those were all the plants. So, all right, I'm liking it. And I have this corner over here for the Breadles plants. Hmm? Bread corner, all right. All right, I put it on wide angle so you can see a little bit better. So here they are. Alrighty, so here we are. Now, obviously I acknowledge that a lot of these plants are not super happy. They have definitely suffered trying to get used to the outdoor conditions. It is their first season after all, but I am hoping that over time they'll get used to it and I just hope that they're gonna recover in spring. I mean, they're not dead yet, but they're obviously not thriving to their full potential. I know exactly why. It's definitely the temperatures. It's too cold and too harsh um, outside. So hopefully at least the harshness is going to be taken away by it growing, uh, by them now growing inside a greenhouse. But ultimately this is the best I can do for them. I do need to wait for mother nature to give me better weather. All right, let's maybe keep this really short and sharp and that's it for now and I'll make sure to keep you updated on the progress.